Hey y'all, I'm Owen Holt, the winner of Awesomeness TV's Next Influencer. And today, I am going to be reliving some of your favorite moments and reacting to scenes that I didn't see. I'm a little nervous to watch this, but let's just get right on into it. Honestly, I'm trying to get some... <laughs> what? Action. She's, she's I'm trying to get action. some action from you, buddy, but you're confusing as hell. Like, at this point, I give up. That's very forward. That's very forward. <laughs> that was the most cringy shit ever. Uh, holy, when she said that, that just caught me so off guard. I literally didn't know what to say. Coley is just like the most straightforward person that you will ever meet. Guys, guys, the question is, how do you feel about Coley saying yeah. that? Yeah. Do you think Coley's pretty? I think Coley is pretty, but... Oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> You're pretty, but, and then I was gonna say something else. Like, who knows? Maybe I could have said that you're pretty, but I just think we'll be, I don't know. They just, they cut me off after I said you're pretty, but like, I don't know why they did that. Could choose Jada, but that would like cause so much drama and blow the house up. I've never been this freaking torn in my life. I don't know what to do. Oh, do I have to get in the hot tub? Can I choose Raul? Right, you can pick Gabby too. You don't have to pick them too. Well, he knows I'm, that. Yeah, I definitely think you should pick Cole. That's my vote. my vote. That's my vote. That's my vote. I know where your guys' heads at. I just gotta find out where mine is at. Coley and I would just be best as close friends, best friends almost. So basically, we're not really hot tub friends. Oh my gosh. Watching that clip is just, uh, it brings back memories when Coley liked me instead of Rail. Uh, rail for life. Rail, get it, Rail. Rail, go get it. Oh my gosh, Coley. Some things that people don't know about this little scene. Sorry, Coley, I'm gonna be exposing you, but um, when I was deciding and I didn't know who to choose for the hot tub, Coley came up to me and said, Owen, straight up, if you choose me for the hot tub, I'm gonna make a move on you. I didn't wanna stir up more drama this early on in the house. And I think Gabby was the safest choice because after that, Jada and Coley didn't really have any problems after that. It ended up working, it ended up working out well. Putting everything into perspective, if I really went and picked Coley and continued flirting with Coley the entire show. I don't think that would have helped my game and I don't think I would have won. She's not cheating, so she's calling me a the cheater, snake. but she's not cheating. Oh, cheating the snake. Oh, the snake. I told like, you guys stop. about violence right okay, after like, happened. If you're weak, then don't be in this industry in the first place because being weak is you're not gonna take you anywhere. Exactly. Like, call me What the What the What the Everyone was blasting Julian and I for the alliance and I brought the snake from home for a time like this in order to distract everyone from blowing up my game and honestly it kind of worked like Valeria got up and started screaming she thought it was real I thought that was so funny good job Owen. good job younger past Owen like, that was funny I still think you deserve it and I've said it since the very first day I was like I think Owen should be I just think you're so open, and that's why when I chose you for the hot tub, that's why I was like, I want to get to know you more, I want you to open up. Because yeah, you, you do talk a lot, but you didn't talk a lot to me personally. I'm mean, kind of going full circle, like I picked you for the hot tub. Yeah. I actually saw Coley crawling up and listening to our conversation, and I didn't want to tell Gabby at first because I wanted Gabby to try and maybe say something that would stir up drama even more. So I was kind of like looking back, I saw Coley, we made eye contact, and I just turned back to Gabby and finished our conversation. I'm like, dude, what are you even doing? Like, you're trying too hard. It's really cringy, actually. You're like the only real one, too. <laughs> it's really cringy for you. Is someone... Literally, Coley, you're such a snitch, dude. <laughs> That's so good. That's actually, that was a good move by Coley. That's such an Owen move. I mean, I listened to their conversation earlier, I think a couple episodes before that. So maybe that was just her getting payback on me, but that was really funny. I would have done the same thing. Good job, Coley. You literally said Gabby's the only real one here. He's probably just trying to kiss up to her, honestly. Maybe he's trying to get with her, I don't know. Let my simping ways, guys, just let me do my simp. Oh I mean, if God. you're being a simp and you're saying that, I approve that's so cute. Like, literally, like, I love when a guy is, like, obsessed <laughs> with you and only you and then talk about other girls. Love that. Like, hate every other girl. She's probably not gonna kiss you. She's playing with you. Literally. Uh, if she is, yeah, we got you Yeah, she's literally, like, bro. talking to another guy. 
Wait, what? Oh my, why would you tell him that? Oh, why? Molly, why would you say that? Owen, Owen, why are you gonna be fake? He's already had a terrible day. Wait, it's you and me too. Oh, okay, I, I cracked the code. He knows that he's at the bottom right now. He's just trying to be a kiss up to everyone and you cannot do that to me. I know the real you. Oh my gosh, that was so good because um, I knew that Gabby was talking to someone because everyone was saying it. She was saying it the whole time, even though she was saying she had feelings for me. So like, what's up with that? Are you talking to someone? Do you have feelings for me? Like, let's go with that, Gabby. But anyways, I knew that like she was like, you know, doing whatever with another guy. Um, so when Valeria said that, I like act super shocked, even though I damn well knew everything that was going on, but I had to act super shocked so that way, Exhibit A, Sabrina was like, oh, Owen, no, like, you, why would you say that, Val? Literally fell right into my trap. I mean, it's getting too easy at this point. Like, oh my God, like, come on now, give me a challenge. <laughs> if we don't get the top four tomorrow, there's a, there's something's a, off. Yeah. I don't want to point fingers, but like you two are probably oh, voting wait. for each other. You're first. pointing two fingers at them. I have a reason to believe it's you. Why? Straight up. Why? Why is Val getting second place? I'm not. Dude, Val she said I know you guys and Gabby are in our lines together. How do they know Gabby's with Because Cody, Cody said something about a group chat. Bro. But it like I don't even know if it's I don't even know. Can we go around in a circle and be honest about who we voted yesterday? I show Val in my text. I, gotta get I my literally phone. showed you it. I think it's us how you are not showing us your votes. I literally deleted the text because of course. Don't even get me started. I know exactly what type of game you're playing. I see right through you, Raul. I see right through you, bro. I'm sorry that I ranked you third. Okay. You probably ranked us eighth, though. I did not rank you eighth, bro. If you got, you got, got eighth, there's no chance. Do <laughs> you, you understand how math works? Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, I'm in college. I am a psychology dentist major. There's only room for one snake in the alliance, and that's me. Oh my god, I literally knew it. I knew I was right. That was really the last straw for Raul when I pretty much knew that he pulled at me and voted uh, against the alliance. And when he wouldn't show his rankings, I was like, yep, it's, yep, yeah, you know, this guy. Like, I tried telling the twins, like, it's Raul, like, it's literally Raul. They didn't believe me at first. They finally caught on. I had to somehow convince everyone that I was talking to that Val getting ranked second was from Raul and not both of us. I knew right from then on that Raul was snake number two in the Alliance and I just had to get rid of him. The snake needed to be exterminated. First, and today's, nah, after today's that. competition. Val. Ooh, oh this is so Yay! genius. Yay! Oh, thank you. It's Cap, <laughs> we all know it. We have an Alliance, my boy's loyal. At the number one spot, Val, this is a genuine vote. <sighs> the amount of lying I had to do to get out of that was just borderline psychotic. If I lied and said that I voted, you know, someone in the alliance first, I knew that Alex the next day would have punished me somehow. He would have been like, oh, since Owen, you lied to the group uh, and, you know, you lied uh, on a truth question, you're gonna get like, you know, your actual rankings exposed. So that's the last thing that I wanted. So I told the truth on who I ranked. As soon as Kiss or Truth was over, I texted the Super Secret Alliance group chat and I said, oh my gosh, literally everyone believed that I ranked Val first. They literally are falling right into my trap. So I convinced both sides of the house that I was kind of loyal to them. And that, in my opinion, was the turning point in the game. I was talking to her ex right after they broke up. Yeah. You crossed yes. the line, dude. Yes, you, and, and you, you did literally, cross the line. You that's unnecessary. You got but she hits a, a pillow on you my face. You got when she, she brought up. On my face. No, do it again for you to shut the <laughs> up. You <laughs> tried <laughs> to <laughs> Look at those highlights in your hair. You wish you had hair as pretty as ours. Who the f is your hair Do you want to stand up for me to take the Get your hands off of me, you trashy ass Oh my gosh, I just don't remember it being that high intensity. That's really fucking <laughs> really When they were at the peak of getting in each other's faces, I was like at the edge of my seat, my elbows were on the on the chair I was sitting on and I was just so ready to break up a fight. Both of them really said things that like, they probably regret. That whole fight I wish they could both take back. It, it was really bad, some of the things they said. No, stop. I didn't mean to hurt you, you know that I love you.
that dance was choreographed by none other than yours truly, Owen Holt. I hate this so much. I'm so sorry. Oh. You're good. Oh. Oh. Stop. Hey, goalie, I love hey. you. Hey. I just want to make it clear, Raul. We're still pissed at you, bro. <laughs> Come on, boys. Let's go let these two lovebirds be. Let's Stop. go. Stop. I'm so sorry. <laughs> good work, fellas. I hate this. It's not every day someone can write a song for you. And Coley definitely, like, deep down, you know, even though she was saying, I hate this, like, she loved it. She enjoyed it. And then it was so funny, uh, in the confessional room, when it was us three, me and the twins, when I was like, Rel, we're still pissed at you, even though I was the biggest snake. Oh, my God. Do it. Dare, yeah, let's go. I dare you to make out with Jada for 10 seconds. The net is right I have the timer, I'll count. What timer? Jada, Giovanni. Alright, it's getting a little too hot in here. It is getting a little too hot in here. It is getting so hot in here. Oh my gosh, I get the same reaction in the hot tub right now just watching it. Like, it's just, oh my gosh. Hey, you can't say I'm a bad wingman though. I was the one who dared Jada to kiss Giovanni, so I'm always looking out for the boys, even if I'm lying to them behind their back. I'm always looking out for them. But I'm, I'm done with the alliance. Like, I'm playing this fair game. Okay. Are we good then? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Kiss her, bro. Like I said, always looking out for the boys. I added a little. Wow, <gasps> you're know. definitely gonna win. Rest in peace to kiss her sign. That was so legendary. Um, it helped my boys out so much. It was kind of my thing. And I don't know if you guys knew this, but. Gabby actually ripped the sign out of Julian's hands when he put it up for me and Gabby to kiss and she literally ripped it into a million pieces. I'm not ranking her first, she's ranking me first. Oh. We're friends, aren't we, Owen? We have each other's back. You're a oh. <laughs> oh, Owen, you are a little bitch. Aw, you scared, Owen. That hurt me, like that literally I don't know, I was like genuinely sad after that. I deserve it. I did say that, so. Made me think like, wow, like I'm really just taking this too far, like more on to a friendship level, like stabbing people legit in the back. Giovanni, are you the owner of that dirty laundry? No. Well, the owner of this t-shirt, please step forward and collect your dirty laundry. I'm not jealous of Julian being with Sab. I'm just jealous of how close they are together and how close they've gotten in such a short amount of time. I stand by that. I mean, I'm still je well, not anymore because of everything that went down, but at the time I was extremely jealous of their relationship because like they were so close. It seemed like they were dating for like three years and it happened in such a short amount of time. So I stand by with what I said. Everyone was shocked when it was me. Like they thought it was Giovanni or something like that. Yeah, Gabby was mad, obviously. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. You all played extremely well, but there only can be one winner. I'm wearing the same shirt for this reason. Let's go. Did you notice that? You noticed it, yes. The winner of the competition and Austinus TV's next influencer is... Oh, here you go. Owen Holt. Oh, my God! I literally get goosebumps. I don't know if you guys can see, but I get goosebumps every time I watch that just because it brings back like just the joy I had in that moment. Oh my gosh. Alex, when he finally said my name that I won Next Influencer, it felt like a lot of weight just got lifted off my shoulders. Like all the lying, all the manipulating, everything that I did that was so wrong, finally 
was worth it and paid off. And of course, the first thing I did was turn around and hug the twins because I wouldn't have won without them, 100,000%. And everyone was smiling, no one was really like bummed that I won. So that was really cool that they could really see past the exposed stuff that happened and they were really happy for me and I loved that so much and I'll never forget that moment. Comment down below what part you thought was the most jaw-dropping part of the entire season. Make sure you let us know what you want to see me do next on Awesomeness TV. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Awesomeness TV, and follow me on all my socials. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay classy, Owen out. Peace!